Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to go over some of the changes in Blender 2.46. Uh, the interface has changed a little and so some of the tutorials are quote unquote outdated um, such as the UV mapping and grass tutorial and so I'm going to go over fixes for those so you can actually uh, do those things for beginning users and also, I'm going to be going over uh, hair with the time remaining. A lot of people have requested that I make a game tutorial, an in-depth one, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do that in the next uh, batch of tutorials. It's going to be a series of tutorials on making a game. So instead of telling you guys what to do, I want you guys to tell me what kind of genre or what kind of game that you want, whether action or racing or whatever. And so just head on over to Nistic.com. There's a link to the topic in the video description. You can just register and vote uh, what kind of game you want. And so it doesn't turn out to be a game about pink ponies because a lot of people wanted that or something. So another thing, we're also doing 100 tutorials of August where I want every one of you, every one of my viewers, to just make one or two tutorials on things that you found cool uh, in Blender, thing you figured out yourself, or or just whatever, just make one or two uh, text tutorials, video tutorials. It doesn't matter. Just post them on Nistic. Uh, you just put a little tutorial tag uh, in front of the actual title name, and just post it on the Blender 3D uh, category. So I just want users to kind of help other users. And there's also a link to that topic on uh, the video description and some suggested. Uh, tutorials that people um, would like help uh, with. So let's go ahead and get started on our tutorial today. Now, the UV mapping tutorial changed a bit. We had our little default cube. I wanted you to add a texture. So we went over, over here. We went to the view. We went to scripting. Uh, we moved over this bar. We went down here and we selected UV image editor. Now from there, I believe there you clicked object mode and there was a UV face select thing. Not there anymore. So what we do, all we have to do is go to edit mode. Click, we're in edit mode. And from there you just hit U and you can unwrap it like last time. And there you have it. You can continue from the rest of the tutorial. So, I mean that's complete and that's fairly simple. So the next thing we also have our grass tutorial. Uh, which is a little different. So, Control X, erase all, just get rid of everything, get back to our default cube. So, from there, we go down here, go to the object tab, F7 also works, go to our little particle system here, add new, and we just actually want to create a plane instead and add a new particle system. So we increase our normal, increase the random a bit, and then we look up here, we rotate it a bit. Hit Alt A. See the little particles coming up. So we come down here and we click on the static button. Oh no, wait, there is no static button. Whatever shall we do? Quite simple. All we have to go do is just go over here where it says emitter. A uh, little thing pops up. Hit hair, and ta-da! I'll zoom in for you so you can see. Looks like grass hair, whatever uh, you want it to be. And so we could go down here in materials, add new, drag these down. It's now green. Render it. We have our grass like last time. Jolly good. So let's go back here to our editing mode and erase everything now we're gonna actually go over the hair sorry if I'm going a little fast you might have to rewind or whatever but we have a lot to cover so all we have to do is hit X erase selected objects space add mesh UV sphere click default values are fine so we have our UV sphere here go down back to the object F7 works too particle systems add new Increase the normal a bit, increase the random, just a tad. Uh, Tipped this value, this SDA value to 5, and this probably down to 300. So we have, if we hit Alt A, that's what I've been hitting before, uh, you see the little particles flying around. 
good enough. And we go back to our hair here. Oops, I hit reactor. Hair. And you can see the hair kind of pops up. So if this was a mesh of a face or whatever, we want the hair everywhere. So all we have to do, go down here, select object mode, click wave paint. And hit the end, so, end button, so, or end key, so that uh, this little handy little pop-up appears. Make sure the weight is sent to 1. So now we just select the side, which would uh, kind of be like the top of the head or whatever where our hair would be, where we want our hair to be. Select that around. That's perfect. So from there, it creates a new uh, vertex group, called group, and we just go back to our object tab, where it says vertex group density, and we just hit this little button on the side and hit group. So only the hair will appear there. So we want to make this a little bit longer for a demonstration. I just increased the normal. So, looks like a really a dude with some really bad hair. So, how about we comb his hair? So, we just go, yes, you can do that in Blender 2.46. If you haven't upgraded, you need to uh, on Blender.org. So, we click white paint, and go back to this uh, pop up here, and we hit particle mode. Woohoo, we're in particle mode now. We hit set editable, and ta da! Nothing happened to the guy yet. But if you look over here, and a little pop up that happened when we hit N, uh, you can select comb. And there's a bunch of different things you can play with. But now we can actually comb this guy's hair. Isn't that cool? Couldn't do that in Blender 2.45. So uh, you can increase the normal, whatever, make him long hair, whatever. But you can actually comb. Uh, if you make a character or whatever, you can comb out his hair in real time in Blender 2.46. So that's something really cool that you can do. So that really concludes it for this tutorial. Um, I just taught you the fixes for the UV fa face select, the grass tutorial, and I taught you how to do hair. So I hope you'll kind of have fun with this and just play with these other options here. There's tons of uh, other options you can play with here. Uh, but the, they've completely reworked um, the particle system and really thanks to the Blender development team for making all these great changes. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial and don't forget to vote. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any tutorials. And uh, please do make a, a tutorial um, and participate in our 100 tutorials of August. And who knows, there might even be prizes like... <clears throat> Maybe a free Blender, making a character in Blender DVD? Hmm, I don't know. Anyways, this is Super 3 Boy signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.